Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. In this episode, we're going to begin chapter 10. I believe it's chapter 10. Yeah, it is. Should be. Or oh, final chapter, yes. Heat-seeking warhead, we've been hit. Sensing Coriolis deviation across orbital ring. Reading ship to west by northwest, magnitude comma two. Correcting tower balance, releasing anchor bolt 127 through 214. Director, the Beanstalk cannot hold. The Saviorite Rebels are very close to capturing it. We have no choice. Initialize I.O. Prepare the conduit. Roger. Its authorization has failed. How come? We're locked out by Professor Klaus. We can't secure access from our side. What did you say? The Trinity processes syncrate at 96%. That should be good enough. Let's begin the experiment. Ridiculous. It's perfectly safe. We are about to bear witness to the birth of a universe. Once, only a god could perform such a miracle. But today, mankind moves one step closer to the divine. Are you serious? Do you even fully understand that thing? What's the alternative? Do you want to just surrender this place to them? The conduit is a gift from some divine entity. It is a gateway. A gateway that will take us to an entirely new world. You're delusional. Divine entity? The conduit is nothing more than a meta-universe manifold. Galea, we humans are fools. We've ravaged the planet. We are on the verge of burning even the skies above. Conduit could transform us into something so much more. <laughs> Leia, this is the birth of a brand new universe. So close! Wow, what a cutscene. Fools, indeed. The time has come. Okay. Okay, we get another feature. Let me tell you about a special 3-person attack which only Rex can use. 
if you've got Pyrenean engaged to Rex at the same time and max out the affinity and then use a level 4 special, it'll come out as a coordinated 3 person attack that you simply never get with other blades. It's destroyed, it's also cut above regular special, so if you've got Pyra and Nia engaged, be sure to use it at its fullest. God damn it. Okay, uh, so that is a very long prologue there. Lock released. Combat support function primed. Okay, we did quite well actually. In any case, uh, we can't do much here, I think. Who built this place anyway? Yay, the Murgress Elevator 1. Ah, nice chest to reward us. Come out, come out. Flora heals an aching soul. Please open your hearts to me. How come the door doesn't open from this side? <sighs> You're all mine. Whoa, look at that. Money, 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 money. What have we here? In my experience. Okay, let's go up. Looks very space looking. See, there's even seats here. Okay, let's go. We. Stop moving. Perhaps we've arrived at the end point. If we go outside, we find out. Good point. Let's have a look. Look up. The stars, they're close enough to touch. The other view is quite something too. Look at the cloud sea all the way down there. So this is the top of the world tree. Ah, oh, that sound. Huh? What is that? It's Elysium. Elysium? This way, let's check it out. Ooh, the sound of the bell. The church bell, I think. Oh. <laughs> it's been a while, Father. Logos. Is that my real name? What's it mean? Logos. It has no meaning. All it represents is the ego of those who named you. How many years has it been? I forget. It has been far too long. 
You know why I'm here, don't you? I know it all. All that you experience is passed on to me here. Then, let's get straight to the point. No need to rush, my child. I'm fading. I'll be gone soon enough. Is that right? Then I'll take it all. Do as you wish. If you believe that is your role. <laughs> is that choice really mine? Answer me. This is what I came to hear. It is a choice you made, together. Good answer. Thanks for creating me. Ah. And here comes the other answer. Whoa. Looks so beautiful, though. I should go back down. There's some ones. There's a chest here somewhere. Treasure acquired. Let's explore a bit, and uh, we are not going to go into the other area uh, yet, just yet. See, there's an escalator, you know. Security gate, whatever that means. We're gonna complete the heart to heart. Treasure acquired. Before we end the episode. Well, look at all the money, money. Yeah, I think there's a monster here, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, uh. See? Whoa! <laughs> I felt so... It's a long way down into the clouds, see you go. Looks so beautiful. Okay... How remarkable. That view down below is the world where we live, isn't it? So it would appear. I had no idea it was possible for humans to reach these kind of heights. And this world tree has been around since forever too. I'm not sure I can keep up with what they're finding out here. Hey Prince, look! Over down there! What is it? You see something? Look! Right over there! It's Genbu! That's gotta be Genbu! Seriously? I don't know, Zeke. You tell me. Wow! You're right! That does look like Tanto! What are you talking about? Of course we can't see Tanto from all the way up here. We totally can, though! Come over and take a look! I'm sure it's just a cloud or something. I don't see any sign of Tantel anywhere. Not over there, over here! Look right there! It's so small, it's difficult to judge. <laughs> Are you sure you're not imagining it? No imagining going on here. That's Genbu, no doubt about it. Hmm, is it though? Bridget? What is it, Lady Morai? Well, it's just... I think I may have spotted Morardine down there. Do you think that's really it? What? Oh, hey, you found your place too. 
Where do you mean? Over there, next to that strangely shaped cloud. Oh, I see the one you mean. God damn it. <laughs> Doesn't that distinctive shape look just like Morardain? Even though the audience here, we as the, the people playing the game can't actually see it from up here. I do believe you're right. Those wide planes look just the right shape. And those shapes flying around it must be Titan battleships. I thought as much. Incredible how one can feel the majesty of Morardain from all the way up here. Quite right, Lady Morag. Hold on, you two. Take a closer look. I'm pretty sure that's the Leftherian Islands. Morardain doesn't have all that greenery, does it? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Epic fail. Okay, we're done. So yeah, we are not going to proceed further. So we'll leave that for another episode. So this episode is actually considered as a prologue. Uh, so what we're going to do to, cl to close off this episode, we are going to find some heart and art events. I believe some are triggered already. I, uh, I, I don't think it's here. I think it's left. I'm not sure where it is. Can't remember. I think Tantal there's one. Yep, there's one in the city center. Let's go. Before we close off this episode. Meh, meh. Long journeys make Tora tired. Refresh and set off again. Ooh, a treat fit for a hero. Snack time already, Nia? Spot anything interesting? Nice one, Nia. You sniffed out a pretty cushy place. You know, this was the great hero Adam's favorite food. They say it uses an authentic mix of spices passed down for 500 years. Okay, is that related to Torna? I was wondering. Maybe it was, uh, whose cooking was that? Uh, Jin's cooking. Tantal is pretty damn cold. Stands to reason that Adam would like food with a bit of kick to it, eh? Uh, kick? Adam was into spicy stuff. Hmm. Heroes of strange tastes. Haha, <laughs> fail. Rather rude, don't you think? Spicy food is delicious. Don't tell me you're some kind of nabby pamby when it comes to heat. And what would be the problem with that? <laughs> For all your tough facade, you really are just a little kid, ain't you? Oh, you watch it, Shalad. You're asking for a fight. Hey, no need to get your ears ruffled. I'm going to get some for you, and you'll see how wrong you are. Mithra, you want some too? Uh... Huh? What's up? Um... Well, you see... Adam didn't like spicy food either. What? <laughs> Contradict. What? It's a total marketing gimmick. A load of bull, in other words. Bloody liars. The cheek of it. Steady on just a second, chaps. It's not definite that they're lying. Huh? Even if this wasn't Adam's favorite food, you've still got to hand it to them. Keeping 500-year-old traditions alive is a pretty noble thing. So what if they did exaggerate? You know, maybe Adam had a bite when Mithra wasn't looking and thought, this is jolly tasty. No need to get so worked up, Charlotte. Who's worked up? It's nothing to me. I'm just saying, don't go around calling ancient recipes alive for no reason. Ah, uh, okay. I see what's going on here. <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion that this might be Zeke's favorite food. 
<laughs> oh, is it your favorite because you believe their shtick about Adam? Bastard! Uh. <laughs> is that why you took it to heart? You're like a little kid. What's wrong? <laughs> Contradicts everything. <laughs> Turn the tables. I grew up believing this was Adam's favorite food. It's been enchanting kids for 500 years now. I'm not going to let the words of one blade take that away. Sure. But that still doesn't change the fact that Adam didn't like spicy food. He'd never eat this stuff of his own volition. Ah! You're shattering my image of him, my precious childhood innocence. <laughs> oh, well. Nice music, too, to go along with it. I don't believe anyone or anything anymore. Don't be like that, Charlotte. Cheer up. I'll buy you an ember cake. <laughs> oh dear. Poor Charlotte. Okay, uh, now. Back to business. So we have the lower level. We actually won here, but we can't reach here because of the over level monsters. I tried it many times. I'm not sure when can you actually go. Mehmet, off we go! Refresh and sell off again! Hey, Pandy, I just had a thought. Oh no. Don't be so quick to judge, you don't even know what I'm going to say. Well, you're not the most sophisticated of thinkers. I can read you like a book. Hey, you can't talk to your driver like that. <laughs> Go on then. If I'm so easy to read, what am I thinking? You are that easy to read, and you just came up with a new title for yourself. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Bingo! You are so predictable. Go on then, what is it this time? I promise not to laugh. You can tell your big sis. <laughs> Pandora is really egging him. Big sis? Wait a sec. What makes you think it'll be something to laugh at? Listen, when I tell you my new title, you're going to be proper impressed. Zeke von Genbu, chaotic bringer of chaos. Isn't that the same thing you said in the other in the other episode earlier? <laughs> I heard that. You can't deny the coolness of the name, surely? Of course not. It's very cool. Suits you down to a T. Super cool. You're not even pretending to be serious. Why don't you try again? <laughs> it's so funny watching you guys. Oh, hello, Pyra. You arrived at just the right time. We're getting nowhere with Pandora. Pyra, lend us your judgment. Who, me? Yes, you! What do you think? Zeke von Gembu, chaotic bringer of chaos! You asked Pyra of all people. That's a fantastic name. Right, obviously! I knew you'd know what's what. <laughs> no need to worry about hurting his feelings, Pyra. You can be honest. <laughs> I am being honest. I think it's a very creative name. Huh? No way! You're kidding, right? Finally, somebody who actually understands. At least someone does. Go on, Pyra. You need a title as well. Huh? Me? Yes, something that really captures the spirit of who you are. Steady on, my prince. Pyra doesn't want a stupid name. Okay. Lay it on me, Zeke. Give me that title. Someone's gotten carried away. <laughs> right then. From now on, Pyra, you shall be... Pyra Von Aegis, Omen of Retribution. Whoa, that was, that's cool. Pyra Von Aegis, Omen of Retribution? Uh, really, Pyra? If you don't like it, you should have just said so. I love it. 
To be honest, I don't really know what it's supposed to mean, but it's so cool. <laughs> what on all rest is going on? These two are incorrigible. <laughs> right, just like I thought, Pyra gets me. In fact, maybe you should just be my blade. Uh, I think I'm good, thanks. Huh? You're very amusing, Zeke, but drivers need to be a lot more than amusing. What? <laughs> You're going to need an ice art for that burn. That was worth the wait. It's going to take him some time to recover. Ah. Uh. Okay, um, can't go there, uh, I don't think there's anything here we can do. Let's check, uh, upper level, lower level, da 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 da, nope. Okay, we're good here, Uriah. Also nothing. Ponsa Mima. Also nothing. Uh, I don't think there's anything here either. Upper level. Oh god, it's a mess in here. Okay, uh, Argentum, anything here? Oh, we have nothing left. Wow, that's a first. I'm just checking here all the levels, make sure we didn't miss anything. Should be fine now. Okay. Just uh, quickly check. Good. Oh, there's one more here. Left Terran Archipelago. Let's rest a spell. Let's get going. Coming to this place always calms me right down. I know what you mean. It's so empty. In a good way. They've got a good salvaging business going, but the place isn't bustling like Argentum. And they don't have a super developed primary sector like Gormot. If you just want to live out your days in peace, there's really no better place. You talk like an old man sometimes. What do you think, Morag? I would like to live here a while. Oh, wasn't expecting that from you. Seeing such hospitality has been a refreshing experience for me. It's lovely to learn how the common folk live. I quite agree. It's very different from staying at a city inn. I guess you two are used to the high life, huh? Are you so different yourself? <laughs> Since we left Tonto, we've been spending a lot of our nights roughing it up outdoors, huh? Sure have. It was pretty tough when we were camping out, waiting for you lot and Oriah and Morardane. Epic fail. Always on our toes, thinking you might show up at any moment. Yeah, I don't miss those hungry camping days. Became pretty close to eating turtles. Let's not talk about that, it's painful to remember. Waiting in the port here was pretty alright though. Yeah, we could rest up in the ship at least. Sounds like you've been through a lot. 
Stakeouts are one experience I would rather avoid. Anyway, that's enough about the past. There was something I wanted to ask you, Morag. Where's your grave gonna be? <laughs> You've seen how smashing this place is, right? I'm just worried that Morag, Dane, and Uriah might wind up fighting over it or something. Not anytime soon, I should hope. If either nation were to make a move on these islands, it would be tantamount to a declaration of war. Morardain, at least, has no desire for such conflict. Ah, right. Well, that's pretty reassuring, at least. Why are you so invested in the fate of these islands, anyway? Because there's no place like it in our rest. That's quite the grand statement. I reckon an environment like this is the only place a chap like Rex could grow up. Oh? Like if a kid grows up in Alba Cavanich. He's going to want to join the army, right? Not saying that's bad or anything, but I don't think a kid like that would wind up as the Aegis' driver. Can't be easy raising the kind of boy who could change the future of Ulrist. All the world's nations and establishments aren't going to foster that kind of potential. But this village, it's cut off from all of that. A place of freedom and possibilities. Ah, I see. Once in a while, you actually say some princely stuff. <laughs> oh, Pandora, what are you doing? Stop spoiling the mood. Shut it, you. I have to say, I agree with Zeke. Villages like this have an important place in all rest. We must do our utmost to keep them all from harm. Ah, oh, that's a nice relaxing moment there. I just thought of a great menu idea. Look forward to that later. I uh, don't know why I decided to do this, but yeah. Let's rest. Oh. What the? Never mind. I'll level these guys later. Snore or anything. What do you mean? Ugh, oh, oh. I slept like a baby. Okay, yeah, yeah, it is morning. So, yeah, uh, we're just gonna park ourselves back at the world tree. Meh, meh. Long journeys make Tora tired. Refresh and set off again. Okay, so we are going to end the episode here. Okay, that's it for this episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Uh, uh, yeah, see you in the next episode where we might do side quests or we'll just go straight on towards the end and meet the architect. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.